Hello everyone, this is Nitesh Gupta from Edureka and today's video is on top 20 Tableau tips and tricks in 20 minutes. No matter how long you have been working with Tableau, you can always find some quicker and better ways to do some of the most common tasks. There are numerous tricks out there, but today I'll be focusing on the most handy tips to make your visualizations awesome and life easier. So this is our agenda for today. We'll look at each trick one by one and then I'll show you the end result. After that, I'll show you the steps to recreate them from scratch. Now before diving into the session, make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more snackable content on Tableau. So let's dive straight into it. So our first trick is a profit calendar. Did you know that we can represent our data in the form of a calendar using Tableau? Let us see how. So to create the calendar, drag order date to the column shelf. Make sure to right click and drag the pill and then select weekday from it. Now by pressing the control key, copy the order date pill in the row shelf and from the drop down, select the week number. Now let's say I want to depict profit in my calendar. So let's drag profit to the colors card. You can see that we have got a nice layout of a calendar. Now let's add dates into it. So to add dates, let's drag order date to the labels card. And from the drop down, select day. Tableau automatically switches over to a text type chart. So make sure to make it a square type chart. So here we are with a profit calendar. This calendar shows us the day wise profit for a single month. Now moving on to our next trick. Bar inside bar charts. So these types of charts come in handy when comparing data for consecutive years or months. So let us now see how to create them. So I have plotted my measure values in the column shelf and region in the row shelf. Now let's copy measure name spill to the colors card because we want sales and profit depicted in different colors. Now we'll copy the same pill to the size card so that we can control the size of our bars. Now go to the analysis tab, stack marks and make sure that it is turned to off because we want both our sales and profit from the 0k value. So this is how you create bar inside bar charts. Moving on to our next trick. Our next trick is a donut chart. So donut charts are very useful as they provide us with empty space in between for quick high level view of percentages or shares of total. In this chart, we can see the sales across different segments as well as the total sales at the center. So let's see how to create a donut chart in Tableau with few simple steps. So I've plotted region in the colors card and my chart type is selected to pi. Now let's drag number of records pill to the row shelves and change its measure to minimum. Now copy the pill and make it a dual axis graph. We can remove the headers. So now we have got two pie charts over here. So the next thing that we are going to do is to remove the region pill from one of the pie chart and make it white in color so that when we increase the size of the other pie chart, it gives us a shape of a donut. Let me show you how. So let's remove region and make it white in color. Now for the other pie chart, when we increase the size, we'll get a nice shape of a donut. Now let's add some labels into it. Let's say I want my donut chart to depict sales. So let's drag sales to the labels card. At the center, we want the total sales. So let's rename the label to total sales. Now for the outside region, we want the regional sales. So let's drag sales to the labels card of the other pie chart. And let's rename the label to regional sales. So this is how we create a donut chart in Tableau. Let's see what's next. Axis formatting. So did you guys notice that my axis is appearing on top of my chart? Also, I've used the abbreviated form for each of the months so that my chart looks clean and less cluttered. Let's see how to do this in Tableau. So one way to move your axis on top of your chart is go to the analysis tab, select table layout and then go to advanced. Uncheck this checkbox of show innermost level. And you'll see that Tableau automatically moves your axis on top of your chart. I'm sure that this looks very tricky to you all. So now I'll show you the easy way to do this. So let's undo this and duplicate the order date pill. Now let's drag the duplicated pill to the column shelf and from the drop down select month. You will now see that my header is appearing on top of my chart as well as on the bottom of my chart. This is because both the headers are represented by two different pills. So what we can do is simply turn off the header for one of the pill. So this makes us move our axis on top of our chart, but the things look a bit cluttered over here. So let's see what we can do about it. So we can simply right click on the axis and go to format and under the header pane, go to dates and select abbreviation. You'll see that Tableau changes the name of the months to their abbreviated form. We can even select the first letter to represent each of my month only by the first letter. So this helps make my chart clean and look more attractive. Moving on to our next trick, nested sort. 
This is a tricky one, but let's see how to implement sorting in Tableau with few easy steps. So I plotted my sales in the column shelf and market product type and state in the rows shelf. Now we'll duplicate the sales bill in the column shelf and add a negative sign to it. So now you will notice that we have got the mirror image of sales in a chart. Now let's make this bill discrete. Now when we select discrete, the bill will turn blue in color. So now let's drag this blue bill between market and product type and see what happens. So when we do so, you will see that your results get sorted on the basis of market. And when we drag the same bill between product type and state, you will notice that the results get sorted on the basis of the product type. Now, what if I don't want to keep dragging the pill every time I wish to sort? So to make it more interactive, we'll now make use of a parameter to give dynamic controls to the user. So let's remove this pill from here and create a new parameter. Let's name the parameter sort by. Make it a string type parameter and go to the list option. Under the value tab, type all the values on which you want to perform the sort. For example, in this case, I want it on the basis of market and product type. So once you create the parameter, go to the drop down menu and select show parameter control. So right now a parameter doesn't do anything. So we'll create some calculated field so that we can make use of a parameter. In this case, we'll create two calculated field. We'll name the first one as sort by market and type if sort by which is a parameter equals market then negative sum of sales. The negative sign in front of sum of sales depicts that the results will get sorted in descending order. If I only write the positive sum of sales, then they will get sorted in the ascending order. So in this scenario, we'll go with the negative sign. Now let's copy the code and make another calculated field. Let's rename this to sort by product type. Just paste the code here and instead of market type product type. Now let's drag both the calculated fields to the row shelf and make them blue in color by selecting discrete. Now drag sort by product type pill between the product type and state and sort by market pill between the market and product type. And now when you'll select product type in the parameter, you'll see that your results get sorted on the basis of the product type. So now with the help of a parameter, we can sort by any means we wish without dragging the pills every time. Moving on to our next trick, two pills on the color card. So usually the color mark card can hold only one attribute. But today I'll show you how you can put two pills on the color card and your data model will still make sense. Let's see how. So I plotted my quantity in the column shelf and ship mode and category in the row shelf. Now by pressing and holding the control key, select category and ship mode from dimensions and just drag them to the colors card. You will notice that both the pills get added onto your color card. But right now our data doesn't make any sense because the random colors are assigned to the random values. So now let's drag this category pill below the ship mode. Once you do this, you will notice that each of my ship mode is depicted by a different color. Whereas different shades of a color represent a different category. So this is how you can add two pills on the color card. Now I'll show you how you can quick color your chart. Let's say you want to color your chart on the basis of category. So you can simply drag the category axis onto the chart. It's that simple. So with this trick, you can apply quick color to your visualizations. Moving on to our next trick, a word cloud. So word clouds are an eye catching element on an infographic or a PowerPoint presentation and may attract more attention than the usual suspects like a bar chart. They provide a kind of first insight as the most popular product pops out and can be seen at a single glance. Now let's see how to create word clouds in Tableau. So to create a word cloud, I'll drag variety to the text shelf and again copy the same pill to the size shelf and from the drop down menu change its measure to count. So by doing this, the words that have the highest count will appear bigger in size. Now Tableau automatically makes it a tree map chart. Let's switch back to text chart. So now we've got a nice layout of a word cloud. Now let's say I want to apply color in it on the basis of country. So let's drag the country pill to the colors card. So here we are with a word cloud, which analyzes that which wine variety is most popular across the countries. And in this case, you can clearly see that the winner is Pinot Noir. Moving on to our next trick. Diverging bar charts. So these types of charts are useful when you want to compare survey results across two measures. In this example, we'll look at the trend of male versus female population of Bermuda across different years. So to create the diverging bar chart, I have plotted my male and female population in the column shelf and year in the row shelf. Now we'll double click on the male pill and add a negative sign to it. So adding a negative sign to the male pill reverses the direction of the male chart. But now we have got some negative values on our axis. So to make this right, simply right click on the axis and go to format. 
under the access pane go to numbers and select number custom reduce the decimal places to 0 and the display units to thousands similar to the female axis now go to custom and remove the negative sign just after the semicolon now when you do this you will see that your axis is similar to the female axis now we can simply edit the axis and remove this negative sum of male and replace it by male so now we have got a nice layout for our diverging bar charts so now let's add some colors into it to make it more attractive let's add the female pill to the colors card of the female chart and male pill to the colors card of the male chart let's say i want to represent females in red color so simply edit the legend and select a red color from it so this is the fastest way to create a diverging bar chart so these charts help declutter a grouped bar chart making the data more engaging and easier to understand moving on to our next trick replace references let's see what are replace references so in this chart you can see that i have plotted my month alongside my earnings now let's say that your enterprise in which you are working chooses some other measure for depicting earnings let's say they renamed earnings to profit so we'll quickly go to the data source and rename the earnings column by profit now we'll save the data source the next step is go to tab view right click on the data source and hit refresh so as soon as you hit refresh you will see that the earnings bill turned red in color which means that Tableau is unable to locate this pill in your actual data source. Now let's say that you have used the same pill in many sheets and now you have a humongous task of making the change in each one of them. So this is where replace references come into play. So you can just go to the red pill, which in this case is earnings and from the drop down menu select replace references. So over here you will find the new field which was profit. So simply select profit and click on OK. So Tableau will automatically replace all the instances of earning by profit, making your life easier and saving you a lot of time. Now moving on to our next trick. Our next trick is assign palette. So did you guys notice that the month of Jan is appearing red in color in my chart, whereas all the other months are appearing in a different shade of blue. Now instead of assigning colors one by one, you can directly assign the whole palette instantly. Let us see how. So I plotted my order date in the column shelf and sales in the row shelf. So to apply color, I'll first drag order date to the colors card. So right now each of my month is depicted with a different color. Let's say I want them in a shade of blue. So go to the color legend and select edit colors. Select the blue palette. Now by pressing and holding the shift key, select January and then December. You'll see that all the months get selected. And now click on assign palette. So when you apply this, you will notice that Tableau automatically assigns each of the shade to your months. So you don't have to do it manually one by one. Now let's say I wanted Jan in red color. So simply select Jan and select red color from the legend and click on OK. So this is how you can make use of the assign palette function in Tableau. Now let's say you want to plot profit also alongside sales and there are many measures and you are unable to find profit in it. So the conventional way to do that is go to the search bar and search for profit. You'll see that a profit pops out as a search result. Now another easy way to do this is simply double click on the row shelf and type sum of profit. So you will see that Tableau automatically finds profit for you and plots it on the chart. Now moving on to our next trick. Our next trick is a multicolored area chart. So area charts usually appear only in a single color format. But suppose you want different colors for your negative and positive data. So let's see how to implement that. So I have my order date in the column shelf and sum of profit in the row shelf. Now I'll copy the profit bill into the row shelf. Now you'll see that we have got two rows of profit. In the first row, we'll right click on the axis and go to edit axis. And make the fixed start equal zero. Which means that it will only show us the positive values of the chart. Similarly in the second row right click on the axis and go to edit axis and make the fixed end equal zero Which means that it will only show us the negative values So right now my positive and my negative values are depicted by two different profit bills So we can color them separately. Let's say I want green color for my profits and Red color for my losses So this is how you can apply multicolor in your area charts now let's see how to customize your area charts more to make them stand out and make them more attractive. So we already know that the color gradient does not apply to the area charts. 
So in this case, what I have done is applied the color gradient on the line chart and I have enclosed my area chart within it. So let's see how to implement this feature in Tableau. So I have plotted my order date in the column shelf and a running total of profit in the row shelf. Now we'll again duplicate the profit bill and this time we'll make it a line chart. So you can see that we have one area chart and one line chart over here. So now we can add profit to the color card of the line chart to apply the color gradient. Now let's make these charts a dual axis chart. So as soon as you click on dual axis, you'll see that your line chart automatically encloses the area chart. Now we can remove the extra headers to make it more attractive. And to highlight your line chart more, we can reduce the opacity of the area chart or even change the color. So this is how we can play with area charts in Tableau. Moving on to our next trick. So in this trick, we'll look at how we can play around with labels in Tableau. So you can see that I have right aligned my labels inside the bar chart. So let's see how to do that. So I have plotted my sales in the column shelf and region and segment in the row shelf. Now if I simply drag the sales bill to the labels card and go to the alignment options, you'll see that I have three options over here. Left align, center align, and when I click on right align, the labels go right outside the bar chart. So now we'll see that how to make them right align inside the bar chart. So let's remove this bill from here and duplicate the sales bill in the column shelf. And now we'll make it a dual axis graph. Always make sure to synchronize your axis. Now we'll make one of the chart as a bar chart and the other one as a Gantt bar. Now we'll add sales to the labels card of the Gantt bar chart. And in the alignment option, align it to left hand side. Now you'll see that my labels are right aligned inside my bar chart, but my axis now shows us the negative values. So to get rid of the negative values, simply right click on the axis and go to edit axis. And under the fixed range, select fixed chart to zero. So now we have got rid of the negative values. Now to make our chart more attractive, let's remove the headers and edit the labels. Let's make them white in color so that they are more visible. So this is how you right align your labels inside the bar chart. Moving on to our next trick with labels. Labeling only the top end builds. Let's sort this result first. Now when I make use of my parameter and let's say I'll type 5 in it, you'll see that Tableau automatically returns 5 pills in colored format along with labels and rest all the pills are grayed out. So now let's see how to implement this trick in Tableau. So I plotted sales in my column shelf and subcategory in the row shelf. Now first let's make a parameter and let's rename it to top end. Select the data type as integer and click on OK. Now go to the drop down menu of parameter and click on show parameter control. So let's type 3 in my parameter. As we can see that our parameter doesn't do anything. So we'll create one calculated field for it. We'll rename the field as top end to color and type rank sum of sales less than equal to top end, which is a parameter we just created. Now when I drag this top end to color bill to the colors card, You'll see that Tableau automatically returns three fields in the colored format. Let me first edit the colors to make it more attractive. Let's say I want the grayed out results. So let's select gray for false and red for true. So now the next step is to apply labels to the colored fields. So to apply labels, we'll create another calculated field. And we'll rename this one to top end to label. And type if top end to color, which is the calculated field we just created, then sum of sales because we want to depict sum of sales as labels. Now when you drag this top end to label pill to the labels card, you'll see that Tableau applies labels to the top three fields. So with this trick, we have reached the end of our video. Make sure to keep implementing tips and tricks on Tableau for better clarity and fast learning. In case you are facing any difficulties or get stuck somewhere, please post your query in the comment section below. Any new ideas or queries related to Tableau are welcome in the comment section. Thank you all for watching the video.